Marshal's Office, Evanston, Wyoming. Wanted Wallace Terrell Burke. Male Caucasian, 27, 5, 10, 160 pounds. Permanent address, Tucson, Arizona. It's Wally Burke. That's Laura Burke's boy. Big trouble this time. This suspect jumped bail while awaiting trial for armed robbery of the United States Post Office in this city. Last seen driving south in a black convertible vehicle. Arizona license 2 Adam 1236. Believed to be headed towards his home in Tucson, Arizona. Armed robbery? Big trouble is right. How do you figure it? I can't. Somebody made a mistake someplace. Knowing Laura Burke, it couldn't have been her. They're airmailing a warrant for the Burke boy. Well, I guess I better go have a talk with his mother. Did you rather I do it, Frank? I wish you could, Ed. There's something I've got to do. Uh, he could be headed for his mother's place. Yeah, that's right. She's the only person in the world he trusts. Well, you know where I'll be if you need me. Five sixty out of a ten. Hello, Sheriff. Hal Merritt. You know that car you're looking for? It's over here at my garage. That's right. And a guy driving it is, is in his 20s. That's right. she know about Wally? That's what brought it on. I'd like to talk to her. What's to talk about? The damage is already done? I know, but I felt if I told her that we'd take it as easy as possible on Wally and bringing him in, it'd make her feel better. I guess she would like to know that. All right. Laura? Look who's here. Well, you look fine, Laura. You wouldn't kid me, would you, mister? Mm-mm. No, no, you just stay put, young lady. Oh, young lady. <laughs> See, bedside manner. <laughs> he thinks I'm going to lie here like this for two weeks. Two weeks minimum. And who's supposed to take care of Jenny and Pete? No, you just leave that to Mrs. Costigan. If you did more worrying about yourself and less about your children, I talk too much. I'll wait outside. Excuse me. Sit down, Frank. Thanks, Laura. It's bad trouble this time, isn't it? Oh, it could be a lot worse. You came here looking for Wally. Well, knowing Wally, this is where he'll be heading for. You must understand, Laura. The sooner we get him, the better off he'll be. Yeah, I know. Now he's wanted in Wyoming. When did he go up there? Last month. To take a job on a ranch, but fell through. I don't know 
it seems like everything Wally tries falls through. This time he really tried, Frank. He told me so on the phone this morning. He called you? He said he was in trouble and he's coming home. Where did he call from? I don't know. Laura? No, honest, Frank. He didn't say. Well, what did he say? He said he was scared. And so am I. Well, now, Laura, look. Don't get excited, please. All he wants to do is just come home. Believe me, Frank. He'll turn himself in if you just give him a chance to get here. <laughs> that was taken up at Oak Flat summer before Ben died. I know. That was the year I came up there. In fact, Ben and I took Wally on his first deer hunt. Strange, isn't it? What's that? You taught him to hunt. Now you're hunting for him. Now, Laura, you mustn't worry. One well, of the highway patrols simply put up a couple of roadblocks. Oh, no, Frank. Don't let him do that. I told you he's scared. If he sees a roadblock, it... He's liable to panic and anything could happen. Laura, you mustn't get excited, please. He's trying to come home, Frank. Don't let him get killed on the way, please. All right, Laura. I'll give him that chance. Thank you, Frank. But you take it easy. Frank, and I hope you don't mind. I want to thank you for what you did. I couldn't prescribe a better medicine. Well, I guess we both feel the same way about Laura, Doc. Well, to tell the truth, I wasn't only thinking about Laura. I was thinking about Wally, too. I brought him into this world, and I don't want to see him go out of it the wrong way. See what we can do. to run a check on a long-distance phone call put into Laura Burke early this morning. Right. You can let that go for now, Carter. I've got something for you. Notify all the border stations to be on the lookout for Wally Burke. You better set up a 24-hour stakeout at the Burke house. Yes, sir. Besides the ambulance, you better send another car up. I'm going to need some help controlling traffic. Car 12 clear. Is that for us? Uh, state job. Pretty bad pile up on Route 89 above Flagstaff. Anybody here? One killed, hit and run. Found a black convertible. No, they're looking for a gray sedan, California plates. Two well-dressed men, about 50. Well, that's one we won't have to worry about. All right, thank you. I got it, Frank. That phone call to Laura's place was made from Salt Lake City, Utah, pay station early this morning. Mm, 5.25 a.m., huh? Yeah. Let's see. Salt Lake City. Figure 50 miles an hour. Yeah, he could be in the state right now. That's right. If he headed due south. He's headed this direction, all right. We're on Wally Burke, Frank. He slugged a garage attendant. Where? Route 89, four miles south of Fredonia. You picked it. He's in Arizona. How about a couple of roadblocks? No roadblocks. Oh, now, wait a minute. Frank. I said no roadblocks. Wally Burke's running scared. Roadblock had set up a chain reaction that could wind up in the morgue. No, sir, he's heading home. Pick him up there. All right, Frank. In the office, I want to talk to both of you. Prescott 21, a gray sedan, involved in hit and run, spotted on Highway 79, driving south toward Phoenix. Set up your roadblock at the Camp Verde. Repeat, gray sedan, involved in hit and run, spotted on Highway 79.
Prescott. I'll repeat that license number. Arizona plates, two Adam, one, two, three, six. That's a black convertible. Wally Burke's car's been spotted. Where? At a roadblock on Route 79 near Camp Verde. Roadblock? Who gave the orders to set up roadblocks? Well, this was a highway patrol set up, Frank. They're looking for that hit and run car. Wally Burke just happened to be driving through there. You're right, he panicked. Ran down a highway patrolman. Okay, Ed, thanks. Traffic stopped both ways. He might be doubling back. Yeah. Uh, just a moment. Yes, Ed. Dr. Jenkins is here. Show him in. Yes? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, it's like we said before, Harry. Everybody's baby now. Okay. Thank you. Doc? Hello, oh, Frank. I heard outside they're setting up roadblocks after all. That's why I sent for you. Didn't you promise, Laura? I'm afraid I can't help her now. Don't you want to help her anymore? There's a lot more at stake now, Doc. The lives of other innocent people. Well, he isn't just scared anymore. He's on a rampage. What are you talking about? Yesterday afternoon, he ran down a highway patrolman. Last night, he's shot and assaulted the sheriff up in Wilton. Doc, you've got to understand my position. I must get this boy before he hurts anyone else. Wally could be killed when they try to take him. He could be. That's up to Wally. But I don't want Laura to know about this. Of course not. It might be fatal. If that boy dies, she might die. I wish Wally had thought about that before. Well, to her, he, he's still just a little boy. Wally's grown up now, Doc. Radio message just came in from the highway patrol, Frank. They believe that Wally's headed for the roadblock on Route 80. Frank, I hope it can be arranged to take him alive. Like I said, Doc, it's strictly up to Wally. Car 67 to command car 2. Cars 28 and 29 are with me. This is command car 2. Continue roadblock, and if you have to, shoot. We'll advise. Comes right down to it. Looks like the state boys aren't going to fool around, Frank. You can't blame them, man. Let's go. <laughs>
keep me posted. Captain? No sign of him yet. Oh, excuse me. I want one of you men on either side of the highway there. Any news on the sheriff up in Wilton? He made out better than my man. This sheriff up in Wilton, what did he say, Captain? We caught young Burke breaking into a hardware store. Hardware store? Burglary? Mm, evidently. But he was only after one thing, ammunition. He didn't get what he wanted. Too much of a hurry, I guess. The cartridges he took won't do him any good. Long caliber? Mm. He'll have a tough time fitting rifle ammunition into that revolver he's packing. Would you happen to know what caliber those rifle cartridges were? Oh, sure. 30-30. Why are you so interested? Oh, just an idea. We'll head on up the road and see what we can find, Captain. Thank you. Frank, are you on to something? Maybe. I think I know where I can find Wally. Where? Oak Flats, Burke Summer Place. What makes you think he'd be up there? They keep a 30-30 in the cabin. Let's go. <laughs> at least a quarter of a mile up the road. Well, uh, we'd better walk the rest of the way. While he's in there, he'd hear the car approaching. You think you can talk him out? Well, I can try, Ed. Better get the tear gas gun. judge decide what to do with you. There's only one thing I'm thankful for. That's that your mother isn't seeing this. You said no lectures, sir, remember? Drop the rifle. 
Drop it. Anything you say, Marshal. my mother, Marshal. Well, I think she'll be better when she finds out I've kept my promise. What promise? To bring you in alive. Let's go, Wally. <laughs> 